Okay, for this video we'll be constructing the molecular geometry for BH3. And before we do that, we should always figure out its Lewis structure. So, we do that by figuring out how many valence electrons each atom will contribute to the molecule. We see that boron is found right here, group 13 or 3A, and that contributes three valence electrons. Hydrogen is found in group one, so that'll contribute one valence electron. We have three of them, so let's put our ones here. Three plus one plus one plus one is six, so we just add all those up. So our molecule should contain six valence electrons. We'll put our least electronegative element in the center, or if we have hydrogens, we're just going to place them around the atom. So let's connect these atoms by single bonds because hydrogen likes to have only two electrons in its outer shell because it likes to be like the noble gas helium follows the duet rule and now if we look at this boron it does not have an octet which is okay in this case because our molecule is neutral if you go ahead and do the formal charge on boron it should come out as zero because it's found in group three we're only sharing three bonds we have no lone pairs so three minus three is zero which is okay neutral neutral so that's all good now let's figure out the Vesper geometries or the molecular geometries. Um, this E right here is referring to the central element. In this case, it's boron. And we have how many bonds being shared? We have a hydrogen bond, a hydrogen bond, a hydrogen bond. So we have three bonds. And we can see here, this would be trigonal planar because our steric number is three. So our molecule shape is trigonal planar and the degree between these hydrogens is 120 degrees so right here's 120 degrees right here's 120 degrees and right here is 120 degrees it looks better three-dimensionally with an actual modeling kit so if you have the opportunity to get one I suggest getting it so that does it for this video I hope to help